is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on the loud and proud channel haven't done a video like this in a long time and it's been a long time since i've had this many you know dodge ram whatever you want to call them trucks at the same time and i thought this would be an interesting video to do because for just a few days i'm going to technically own well aside from this one one two three four five uh ram pickup trucks all at one time and now this truck, we did have a winter drawn for this truck just about a week ago. We just got it back because it had a fuel pump leak and some of the parts and seals in it apparently just had been wore out. And one of the seals had dry rotted one of the O-rings and it had the symptom then, you know, showing that it had a leaking fuel pump. So, you know, of course I'm not gonna send him with a truck that has any kinds of issues. So we had that taken right over to a super highly reputable shop in area, had the entire pump rebuilt, resealed, reinstalled very quickly actually in less than a week it was all done and so he's going to be coming to get that probably this week yet now that it's back and get that thing picked up and then this is my late grandfather's ram 1500 that i bought him back in 2018 this is my wife's 0759 third gen this is one of the current giveaway trucks here up for grabs this is the other one ends on sunday if you want to get entered for that obs plus five grand and that 2015 laramie mega cap cummins that's fully loaded minus cab lights and a sunroof Plus, $10,000 in cash you only have until this Sunday, October 8th, and then your opportunity for doubling your entries, doubling your odds of winning, getting put into two drawings for the same price of one order, those odds will be gone. So get in while you can. But then this here is my brand new 2022 Ram 2500 Laramie. And when I say brand new, it is brand new. I just actually rolled over 1,000 miles on this truck. And uh, when it got delivered to the driveway, it only had like 18 miles on it but it was just such a steal of a deal. I mean, they literally dropped the price on this truck like almost 30 grand from what it was listed over sticker for a long time. And I jumped on the deal and I said, I haven't seen a Laramie sell for this price in like five years. So I'm gonna buy it and made the buy and here we are. So I'm not gonna make this video super long because you know, I don't want to go into a crazy in-depth thing on every single truck, but I just did wanna go over these and I wanted to show you the differences, the very obvious ones. You know, you guys heard the exhaust notes, you guys got a brief look at the interiors, but this is a 2022, fifth gen, fourth gen, third gen, late third gen. They had a couple variations of that. Second gen and first gen. And uh, it's, just, it's just cool because we've got them all in one spot. So I'm just gonna go over the years, short look at the interior, what engine it has in it. So this is a 1992 or three, I think it's a 93, W350, four wheel drive, five speed, 12 valve Cummins. And uh, this truck is very cool. There's a step back in time there, 1993. Um, when you guys are thinking about 30 year old pickups, that's a pretty good truck. It's pretty, pretty nice, pretty clean. Over here, we have the truck that I bought my grandfather back in 18. It's a 2001 Ram 1500, and it is a 5.9 gas. It's a 5.9 gas, 262,000 miles on that baby. She's still rocking the original transmission. I had a bunch of body work done on this truck because when I had bought it for him, some other people took advantage of using it all the time and did not take any care of it, and it ended up getting all rusty, covered in salt. Nobody washed it, so... Unfortunately, it cost me tons of money to get it back to the condition that it was previously when I bought it for him. But very, very good looking truck, very clean truck. It's got its small blemishes here and there, but overall very, very nice truck. And this truck here is a 2007 5.9 Cummins. And it is just, I believe it's just a, an SLT model. It's not a Laramie SLT, so, you know, it's got the cloth interior, the manual four wheel drive, um, and then it's got, you know, the basics. But it's a nice truck, super clean truck. My wife actually just did a detail on it. But the big thing about this truck is there's no rust on it. It was originally from Florida. And so it's just clean as a whistle. I mean, it's super clean. There's some spots where the paint got rubbed off like this, but it's not, it's not rust, it's just, you know, where the paint scraped off so it's a little bit of oxidation set on that raw metal very clean truck very clean truck and then coming on over here 
you've got the 2015 Laramie Mega Cab. And when these trucks came out, I'm not even going to lie, I would like drool over these things every time I saw one drive by. Especially, especially if I saw one that was set up like this. Like a, like a you know, six to eight inch left, big tires, nice big wheels on it. I mean, to me, I was just like, oh my gosh, as a, as a teenager at the time when these were rolling around, I was like, those are like, that's the dream, you know? And of course, I'm sure that's how, you know, kids look at these things, you know, now that we're the same age that I was at the time. But I mean, these, I just have a, I have a soft spot for these and most, mostly, I mean, I love them all because my grandfather drove around a first gen. That was the last diesel he ever owned was a first gen Dodge diesel. And then I bought that for him. So that means a lot. That's cool just because growing up, whenever I'd go visit grandpa, he always had a first gen diesel. And then my wife's grandfather, he always drove either a, you know, Ram 1500 gas for the last handful of years before he bought a 2005 59 Cummins, which sounds and looks almost just like this, just a different color. And then when it comes to this truck, this is the first new truck, not this exact truck, but a 2018 fourth gen mega cab Longhorn. It was the first new truck I ever bought. So I love this thing because when I hop in this thing, my wife, when she hops it, she's like, ah, oh, it reminds me of your mega cab fourth gen you had when we were dating. Like, oh, I love that truck, love the look of a fourth gen. And so that means a lot. And then this, the reason I got this one in the same color and everything that I did is because it's almost exactly like my limited dually that I had. Now, of course, a Laramie 2500 versus a limited 3500, there's differences. But for the most part, this truck reminds me a lot of that. So there's a good reason why I have tendencies of always buying the same types of vehicles. I see them and I drive them and I hear them and I think of certain things that keep me connected to that line of truck. But all my childhood, my dad always drove one of those. Just the new body style, but same sound. I mean, it sounded just like it. So when I hear that thing start up and drive down the road, it sounds like the truck we called Old White, which is my dad's late body style 7.3. But anyways, let's show you the interior of this one again here. If you've seen the previous video or seen the website, you've seen some stuff on it. The mega cabs are cool to show you from the back because the back seats are huge. So I'm gonna go to half zoom so you can try to get a full view of the interior on this thing thing is freaking nice dude super clean truck love this thing and then well i would show you the back seat but it's got car seats in it so that's not too flattering but then you've got the fifth gen and it's got a middle seat and it's flipped up because my wife can sit by me now who misses the old-fashioned flip up and bench seats so that way your lady could sit right by you but anyways Love this truck. Um, I'm not as sentimentally attached to this one as I am, you know, my 1500 that I have. That truck just means a lot more to me. Uh, but it, it's a nice truck. I love the truck. I don't have any complaints. I mean, it's a new truck. Um, but that's a small tour of all the trucks that we have in our possession right now that are Mopar. First gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen, and fifth gen. And hopefully you guys enjoyed those exhaust clips going from, you know, it was interior from the first gen all the way to the fifth. And then it was the exhaust notes from the fifth gen all the way to the first gen. And when you think about how those trucks sound versus, you know, these now with all the emissions and everything on them, it's just unbelievable. It's night and day. What's crazy though is I've been averaging 23 miles per gallon in that truck with all the emissions on it. Now, I don't know how long that's gonna last. I'm sure once it gets choked up, it might change, but you know, hopefully hopefully it gives me that good fuel mileage, at least for a while. Um, but there's a look around, guys. First gen to fifth gen, all diesels except for this one. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. Which one would be your pick? Of all these trucks though, which one would be, if you could have, not necessarily one of these specific, but if you had to choose a first gen, to fifth gen which one would it be what would the configuration be let me know down in the comments i'm really eager to hear anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video of me stopping back in here on the youtube thing just wanted to show you that i thought it was kind of cool it's not very often we've had all generations together we have had that happen before but it's been pretty rare and i thought it'd be a cool video to show you all of them side by side and uh let them all run and let you see the interiors and all that so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below 
what generation was your favorite and why. Favorite configuration, very specific in detail in the comments. And then also don't forget, if you want to get entered to win this crew cab long bed four wheel drive 7.3 power stroke plus five grand and this 2015 mega cab plus 10 grand, you've got until Sunday to make that happen, October 8th. That is just a couple of days away. Then that giveaway is over. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.